Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be opening up a couple packages from the P.O. Box. So let's get started. Okay, so we have three of them here. We actually have one from Fair Game Toy Store, that's this one here. We have one that I ordered off the Funko Shop, which sold out very quickly, so you guys are going to want to stick around for that one. And then we have one that came in from Rachel. Um, she sent in something for Halloween. She's now sent in something for Christmas. So I thought this would be something fun to open up. There's a bunch of Grinch stickers all over it. Um, I just think it's a really cool package. You guys can see here it's got like the Grinch and Max and then uh, Cindy Lou Who and the Grinch around it. Um, actually, we're going to be starting with this package and then we'll go with this one and that one. Um, some pretty exciting stuff in these ones, guys. I know what's in this one. And I think that's it. Yeah, I don't know what's in here or in the other one. So... Let's see what we got here. Let me just flip this over because it looks like it might be a little bit easier to cut from the bottom. Um, but yeah, she sent a really cool package last time. She sent um, the Batman and Robin Pez, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what it was. Yeah, because uh, she might have sent all three, Batman and Robin and Joker. Hmm, I can't think of it now. But yeah, that's most likely what it was because that's what I'm remembering. Ooh, okay, there's some uh, tissue paper here, which, which to start with, let me close this up. Safety first, kids. Um, let me see, so you got some tissue paper. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna just, okay, I've got a box here, I can put it in here. Okay, so, so far, guys, after I took the tissue paper off, this is what I see. It looks full of some goodies. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. We've got a card on the side here. It says, Merry Christmas, Top Pops, as you guys can see. Oh, it's a little folded, but there we go. Not too shabby. Uh, let me open this guy, bad boy up here, we'll see what it is. Oh, nice! This is cool. It's an elf card. Look at that. This is cool. Cheer. A wish that your Christmas uh, season is as warm as a hug, as jolly as Santa, and as filled with all of your favorite things. So glad you liked the last box, and your mom's vinyl collection was awesome. Merry Christmas. Sincerely, Rachel. Thank you so much for this. I love this card. Look at it. Oh, it's cool. Oh, Mr. Narwhal's on here. Look at that, so is the raccoon and the puffin. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you so much for the card, Rachel. I love cards like this. You know, they're, they're thoughtful and meaningful. Thank you. I'll keep that right there for this episode. Or until it falls over. Uh, whichever one comes first. Um, but let me throw this off to the side here so we have less clutter on the... Okay, guys, so the first thing I see here is that there are a lot of pom-poms, I believe they're called. You guys know what I'm talking about here. Those little balls that are kind of... That's what she said. Uh, that are kind of small... Um, but yeah, let's start with here, guys. I can see this on the side. It says Warhead 6 Super Sour Candy Canes. Nice. They, they didn't come cracked either. Sometimes they're cracked at the store. Thank you so much for that, Rachel. Look at that. There's Warhead Candy Canes in there. We still have candy canes from a couple of years ago that we haven't eaten. I tried one the other day. They still taste the same. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. What is this? Oh, that's funny. Have you guys ever heard of the uh, tradition of the Christmas pickle? So, uh, the Christmas pickle. Um, it, it's funny, I'm not going to read the whole thing here, but there is a thing on the side um, about what the Christmas pickle is. If you guys want to pause that, you guys can and read that. Hope you can read it. Um, but the Christmas pickle is where you hide the pickle on the tree, and the first person to find it gets to pick the next gift. Uh, it is, yes. You receive the next present from under the tree. So maybe we'll play that this year, guys. Would that be fun? Would you guys like to see us play this on Christmas? Maybe we'll hide this pickle, or we can hide the pickle Rick on the tree, uh, the Funko Pop. That could be cool. Yeah, this is fun. There was one a couple years ago, I remember it was an ornament, where you hide it, but it, it makes noises and it talks, and I thought that was cool as well. Um, but let's see, guys. There's also this here, which is a stocking. Let's make sure I don't lose anything when I'm doing this. This is a full stocking. Oh, my gosh. Whew. You went full out this time, Rachel. Thank you so much for this stuff. Let me put this here so we can do this um, a little bit neater. Let's see what the first thing is. Oh, ooh, silly putty. You know I love my silly putty. Guys, this is glow-in-the-dark silly putty. Now that is neat. Okay, I have that one, I believe, but I, I don't take them out because I like to keep them nice and clean. But that one I'll for sure take out and play with. Uh, we've got Frosty Nerds. I believe these ones are, ooh, watermelon, cherry, and punch. That's cool. So it's like the Christmas box for nerds. Those are awesome. What else do we got in here? Hey, hey, hey. These are wack packs Oh, you know what's funny? We had these for when they came in. Um, this, this thing I had a while ago was Mighty Beans. Um, you hit one of these on the top. So that'll be fun to play with. Um, not to eat. <laughs> uh, anywho. Uh, here's some more Pop Rocks. Limited edition crackling candy original cherry. I also like how all of this is Christmas themed too. You, you went full out for this. What do we got here? 
Ooh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups miniatures. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. What else have we got in here? There's, there's a bunch of stuff. Let me see if we can pour this out a bit easier. Yeah. A lump of... Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, you said... Oh, Mystery Pocket Pops. We're going to have to open those up, guys. Um, so here we have... Lifesavers Hard Candies. Gotta love these. These ones are always my favorites. Are these... Ooh, pretzel holiday balls. So it looks like they're solid milk chocolate with crunchy pretzel pieces. <laughs> okay, guys, so that is everything out of this, I believe, just to make sure. Yeah, it's everything out of here. So now we just have to go through this. I'll put everything back in so that way we can do this. Now we can open up the three Deadpool Pocket Pops that Rachel sent. Um, these are awesome. Rachel, you honestly, the best packages. Thank you so much for this, honestly. I said honestly twice there. Uh, but these are some of the greatest packages that you've sent ever. Um, before we get into the, um, no, we're gonna have, oh, we're gonna have red fluff all over the room forever now. Uh, but anyways, I don't mind. Um, here guys, we have three Deadpool Pocket Pops. Let me show you what's on the back. Are these the GameStop exclusives as well? <gasps> they are! There, so there is the stuff that you can get inside of it, guys, um, just to show you off. There are three of them in this box. Um, so let's see what we get. I'm hoping for King Deadpool, maybe? That'd be cool. Any one of the exclusives, really. Ooh, we got Panda Pool. Yay, it's an exclusive. Wait, is that is that the exclusive? Yeah, we got Panda Pool. It's one of the exclusives. There we go, guys. There's one of the ones. Let me flip it around here. Let me see if I got that. Can you guys see that? Wait. Focus on my face, focus on my face, focus on my face. Oh, it's backwards. Shoot. Anyways, you guys get the point. There's Panda Pool there. Uh, ah, I'm trying. It's hard with one hand. Um, but that's such an awesome pocket pop. Nice. Okay, now let's see what this one is here. I don't want to feel it. It ruins it. I'm going to say Samurai. Ooh, we got the other exclusive. There's one more exclusive, guys. Uh, and it would be King Deadpool if we do. But this is X-Force Deadpool. That one's cool. I'm collecting the keychain ones, at, you know, every once in a while if they're on sale or if I like to get them. Um, and I'm putting them onto a giant keychain. I've got maybe 30 or 40 on a keychain right now. So that's awesome. Let's see, guys. What's this one going to be? This could be the last exclusive one. Um, this could be... I don't know. Wait, is, he exclusive? is this the exclusive one? Oh, it's not. Okay, so there's two that are the same here. Um, the one that's exclusive is him jumping. This is the one where he's just standing there, but still awesome. Uh, let's see what this one is. Ooh, cheerleader Deadpool. Nice. Look at that one. Now that's a detailed one. I like the little pom-poms he's got going there, whatever you call them. I think they're called, what are they called? Pom-poms? What are they? What are those called? What are those called? Give me a T. T. Give me a P. P. What's it spell? T. P. Pom-poms. Ah. Anywho. Rachel, thank you so much for this. Now let's check to see what's in this bad boy here. Nice. Anybody writing a letter to Santa too? Put it in the comment section below if you did. Um, we've got our own little mailbox. Maybe we'll write a letter to Freddy Funko Santa. I don't know. Um, I'm just having fun now. Oh, looks like there's a... <gasps> there's Pez in here. Oh, nice. Woohoo, look at this. Hey, we've got two guys. Here's a Stan Lee Pez. Uh, rest in peace, Stan Lee. Oh, such a nice Pez. And then we also have Deadpool. Hey! Kind of to go with the Christmas theme. We got the red going there. Thank you so much for this, Rachel. This was amazing. You don't have to do this. I know you probably take the time to sit there and think of all these cool things for these. And I, honestly, thank you so much for this. This is, this is a great package. I love this stuff. I love these types of packages because you guys are just so thoughtful with them. So thank you so much for this, Rachel. It was amazing. And um, I love everything that came in here, especially especially these pets right here. These things are amazing. And the Silly Putty. You can't go wrong with Silly Putty. Um, it's always a good gift, guys, for anybody, really. Silly Putty is one of those things where it's like, I don't know what to get someone. Get them Silly Putty. They'll like it. Do you know that they're making pound Silly Putties now? i got to get some of those. It's literally a giant egg that's a pound full of Silly Putty. And that's, that's next up on my list for Silly Putty. I believe I have every color of Silly Putty now besides the pound ones. So that'll be fun. Um, but let's go on to this one here, guys, next, which is... Okay, we're going to save that one to last. This next one that I want to do, which is from Fair Game Toy Store, they um, said a while ago that they were sending something, um, so this could be cool. You never know. This was for um, 
a mystery box a while ago. Not a mystery box, but uh, for me help helping me help. It was a gift for me helping promote the mystery box. Um, and I want to thank them so much for sending these over. You guys do not have to do this, um, but they have a lot of really cool uh, pops for these mystery boxes here. Um, they go way above and beyond. I just watched um, they sent over the entire... Actually, no guys, go over to Funko Pop Academy's channel. You guys can find what Fair Game Toy Store send them. It's really cool. I'll give you a hint. It's ad icons, and they're exclusives. So go check those out, guys. But Fair Game Toy Store, if you guys don't know, they have mystery boxes. They have an Instagram. I'll link their stuff in the description down below. Most likely their website, because everything can be found there. Uh, but yeah, guys, they have a really cool set of uh, mystery boxes and pops and stuff like that on their website. Just go check them out. Wait. This, this guys, okay guys, hold on. Before, before, we don't, before I take it out and you guys see it, I'm gonna say this. This is one I needed for my set. This is one of those ones that I didn't think I'd ever get because they were kind of too expensive uh, to buy on a random day. Uh, this is, I, I think out of my set now, I only need two more to complete the entire thing. This is pretty cool. This is, guys, the Creeper from Scooby-Doo. Look at that! Now this is the last new sculpt that I needed for Scooby-Doo. Um, now besides this one, I think I have everything except for the flocked blue Scooby- no! Flocked green Scooby-Doo and flocked pink Scooby-Doo. Those are the two that I'm missing. And those ones are the most expensive, of course. So, I just have to pull the trigger on two of them and then we're good to go for this entire Scooby-Doo line. Uh, but this is such an awesome pop. Thank you so much for this. Fair Game Toy Store, you killed it with this, um with this box this time. Thank you so much for this. This is back from uh, 2017 Spring Conventions Exclusive, which would have been Emerald City Comic Con. So that's such an awesome pop. Thank you guys so much for this. It's one of my favorites that you guys have sent over. Um, but look at that. It's a good set, guys, I'd have to say. I got the whole set. Um, normally, I think Shaggy was sent to me by Judge Jack, um, but the rest of them I picked all up in stores myself. So that was really cool. Took me a lot to find these ones, but it was one of those fun hunts that I liked doing. So. This set would probably take me about, I think it's been taking me about two years to complete it, but it's because I'm not really trying for it, but I am trying for it, if that makes sense. Um, so anyways, there is that guy, super cool. Thank you so much for this Fair Game Toy Store. Now let's get on to this last thing here. This last one here is something that I was super excited about picking up. Um, this was going to a great cause. This was for Make-A-Wish. Now if you guys don't know, this went up on the Funko Shop on a random Tuesday. I believe it was last Tuesday. Um, and I was super excited about picking this one up because it went to this awesome cause. If you guys don't know, Make-A-Wish. Um, I'll, read, I'll read what it says on the back of the box when we pick it up. But you guys probably don't know yet. This is a Freddy... Well, you know what? I'll let you guys stay. This one, also, I want to talk about something after with this one as well. And why this one's so special. Um, so let me take this one out. Is it, I hope this is what I think it is. Um, yeah, okay, good, it is. Okay, good. Um, let me see. So here it is here, guys. This is it. Um, now let me take it out, guys. Yeah, this is it. For sure. Okay. Okay, guys. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, guys. So if you can't see it from here, this is the Freddy Funko Make-A-Wish exclusive, limited to 5,000 pieces. And the reason it's limited to 5,000 pieces is something that I want to talk about as well. Um, but here it is, guys, right here. That is such an amazing pop. By the way, mint condition box. Thank you, Funko, for this. Um, but yeah, I ordered this one off the Funko shop. It came in in great condition. Um, I love that sticker too, the Make-A-Wish one. Can you guys see that there in the corner? The Make-A-Wish sticker? Looks great. Um, but let me read to you guys the back here. Together we create life-changing wishes for children with crit critical illnesses. Research shows children who have wishes granted build the physical and emotional strength they need to fight a critical illness. This may improve their quality of life and um, pr produces, sorry, produces better health outcomes. For more information on how you can get involved, visit wish.org. Yeah, guys, so go check that out. Um, go visit wish.org, guys. This is go going to a great cause. And I want to talk about this one here. So, with this, when you ordered this one, it was $20, and all proceeds went to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I think that was awesome. So, there were 5,000 of these things, which means Funko donated around $100,000 to Make-A-Wish, which I think is such an awesome thing for Funko to do. And this was just a random Tuesday. I believe it was Giving Tuesday which was last Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, um, where you, um, it was kind of like, you know, companies and people just could, you know, give back to people and do it, do something nice for the community. And this was such a cool way of Funko to do it by giving us a cool pop that where it's kind of like we're donating as well. 
Um, if you guys missed out on the pop or, you know, didn't uh, didn't get this one or want to donate, go over to Wish.org, guys, because that's where you can donate. Um, but yeah, here we have it here, guys. This is the Make-A-Wish Freddy, which is such an awesome figure. It's got the Make-A-Wish logo on his chest. This will be the pop of the day, guys, because this is such a cool pop. Um, but yeah, there it is there, guys. Uh, looks really cool, too. The, I, I wish Funko would do more like this, where they would, you know, do it for a cool cause and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, very cool figure. I love this one. I'm super glad that I could pick this one up. And it's kind of like I donated while picking this up. Uh, I donated towards Make-A-Wish. I think that's awesome. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, guys, Fair Game Toy Store will be linked in the description down below if you want to check them out. As well as Make-A-Wish. So if you guys want to go check that out, you guys can. Um, they go to great causes for this. And uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching.